Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It has been a heck of a week here around the office, and so I decided to do a kit build. Now, this thing might be familiar to some of you who grew up at a certain age. This is an Atari joystick, and it comes with a nine pin connector. Now, this is often known as the Atari joystick connector and stuff, but this connector was actually used on a bunch of different systems. It was used on uh, some of the Atari 8-bit computers. It was used on Commodore. Uh, Coleco used it. Um, I think it's on some of the Tandys, the Amigas. It's a very common joystick interface. And uh, I've been actually working on my own about building some different things, like some Arduino-based controllers and motion controllers and stuff like that that can interface with basically anything that works on a 9-pin. And so... Um, I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I had a way that I could sort of diagnose this stuff without actually plugging it into uh, an old machine? And so I reached out to PCB Way, and they agreed to sponsor a little kit for me to build for you guys. And let me show it to you. So here on my very dirty solder mat, I have a uh, PCB that I got from PCB Way. You can get 10 of these for five bucks plus some shipping and uh, they'll come delivered to your door. And this thing is beautiful. I ordered it in white and uh, it takes a 2032 battery and it has LEDs on the four sides here for detecting that you've pressed the joystick up or to the right or to the down, you know, whatever. And then uh, two here for the fire buttons. And then it has a place to put the connector right here. Now, if you don't want to power it with a 2032, you could actually power it by these two pins right here. Now, one of the things that kind of makes this board interesting is it's designed so that you could use, I think it's a common anode, um, no, it looks like common cathode, uh, LED in here if you wanted to use like a multicolor, like a two color or three color LED in here, or you can actually mount the LEDs to the back and it has this side B thing here and all you do is um, short the proper solder pads together. So if you soldered on the back, you're gonna solder the B in the middle on both of these. And if you soldered to the front, then you're gonna solder the A in the middle to these things. So um, kind of a cool little project here. And I thought it'd be handy, you know, again, you have a, a long week, something that's kind of fun to, to have. And so I do wanna thank PCB Way for sponsoring this. Um, we're gonna put the LEDs in with the long side toward the plus, <laughs> if I can keep it in my hands. Now, the uh, my thought is that it would be kind of cool to have one of these things in the office where I can um, do some actual work. And then I'll also keep one of these in my glove box. And so my thought is if I'm out at a yard sale or something like that and I come across, uh, I've been looking for some Coleco joysticks and uh, some other things like that. You know, I can test them without actually having to plunk down real money on them and see if they work. And I just think it's kind of a cool thing. And then now I've got eight more that as I come across people uh, who are interested in this kind of stuff, I can build them up one and give it to them as a little gift. I know Gadget Reboot kind of likes this kind of stuff. And uh, there's some other people I know that are interested in the old computer and video game stuff. So uh, what I decided to do was to put four of the same color LEDs on the outside. I think I chose red. We'll find out. I could test them with the battery, but where's the fun in that? I keep dropping stuff today. Um, then I chose one color LED up here, which will be for, uh, for the fire button number one. And then some joysticks actually have a second fire button. So uh, I'm going to put another color LED in here for fire button two. Now I probably should have soldered the battery connector on first, um, but you know, we're gonna live on the edge and I'm gonna solder that at the end. So uh, let me hit this and then we'll come back. So let's go ahead and just straighten these leads up and we're gonna clip these all at once and then we'll go to the battery connector and then we'll do the nine pin. Okay, so we're gonna put this on with the, um, with the positive over here. Now they do have some that have uh, these little uh, hold down things here that kind of keep it aligned and keep it on there stronger, but any one that I have with that does not actually line up with these holes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in here since I'm not using my uh, soldering holder on this project. Just get a little bit of downward pressure there. We're gonna clean the soldering iron and we're gonna hit these two and then we'll go for the nine pin. Okay, now this is a right angle PCB mount. 
uh, nine pin connector. These things were my childhood, man, between null modem cables and regular modem cables and serial mice and all that kind of stuff. Like I just, everything I did was some form of D sub connector. The joysticks were D sub, everything was D sub. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna absolutely freaking flood this thing with solder right here. And then we'll come in here and do the nine pins. And last but not least, we need to come in here and attach these little pads together to each other. So we're gonna go ahead and tin one, tin the other, tin one, tin the other, and then we're gonna bridge them. Well, that one actually already bridged. So let's just come in here and bridge that. And that looks pretty dang good. So there you have it. That is the uh, joystick tester. Now it's time to put the battery in and see how we did. So we're gonna pop, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> we're gonna pop the uh, 2032 battery in there and let's find a joystick. And we're gonna plug it in. Let's go. So we've got, and plugging it in does not work because I forgot one critical component. There is a uh, resistor here and it's labeled 150 and I have a 150, so I'm gonna use a 150 and we're gonna put in our current limiting resistor and that will allow this thing to work. So let's get that resistor in there. And now you can choose any value you want pretty much. It's just gonna adjust the brightness of the LED and uh, I do appreciate them not making me stick, uh, what would it be, five resistors in there, uh, six resistors in there because to be honest, I don't really care if one LED is brighter than the other. Um, let's just save on some parts, save on some soldering joints. And now let's take the thing and plug it in and let's see what happens. Am I upside down? I didn't think I was upside down. I'm upside down, there we go. Okay, so we've got up, down, left kind of works and right works really well. And then we push the power button and the red one works. So um, obviously you can kind of see that left is a little janky on there. I don't know if you can kind of see from the side how it's, you know, like I'm pushing over here and the left isn't fully working until I really ram it over there. And so that lets me know that there's something that needs to be cleaned inside this joystick. Let's take a look at another one over here and we'll see what this one does. Now, apparently this is a really rare joystick. Um, so let's see what the deal is with this one. So, oh, look at that. So just the act of shaking it means that it's very sensitive to the left side, but not very sensitive to the right and not very sensitive up and not very sensitive down. So there's something going on here with this microcontroller. Uh, the power button doesn't work. So I, or not the power button, the fire button doesn't work. I got to fix that. But down works, up works, right mostly works. Um, and this one's just a little sensitive. So a little tool like this, uh, again, sponsored by PCB Way, who uh, sent me these boards in less than a week for five bucks plus shipping. Um, you know, just kind of a cool thing to have. Cool thing to have in the office, cool thing to have in the car. Uh, if I didn't make this clear before, you can actually choose to solder the LEDs on the back. Like if you want to put the connector and everything here in an enclosure and then solder the LEDs on the back, you can just flip these things over to side B and you can make a nice little neat enclosure for it. But something like this is really handy. If you know me personally and you want one of these, um, let me know and I'll get you one. Uh, but otherwise, definitely consider going to PCBWay.com. I'll have the link in the description and getting uh, something like this. I also think it'd be really cool to have something like this for the other joystick form factors. And so uh, I may be building one of those in the future. But right now, I need the 9-pin, so I got the 9-pin. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.